I just have to show you how beautiful this room is. So here we are walking in. We have a little bathroom here. How lovely. We have a beautiful little sitting room. I love the little fireplace feature, even though we can't use it. And then we come through, we have a beautiful king bed. Here we have not just some storage, but also a little seating area back here, a little bit of a vanity, another little bit of storage. We come around, what beautiful sunny day it is. And we make our way into the bathroom, beautiful bathroom, clawfoot master bathtub, all this beautiful marble. Hello, hello, me of course. Sorry, I look <laughs> like a mess. It's been a long travel day. It's four o'clock and I'm finally checking in. Oh, I cannot wait to take a shower. So pretty. I mean, this is outstanding, isn't it? Oh, this is what I've been looking forward to all day long. Oh, this is so nice. Today was really quite nice. Meetings went well, everything went well. More stuff to do in the coming days, obviously, but this is such a fantastic way to spend my time in London. I love the Kimpton. They are the best. Amazing. Okay guys, I'm gonna get a little unpacked to get myself sorted, hop into the shower, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Hello everybody, this is the best part of the day. It's when our Deliveroo order is here. So I've gotten some kalbitang, which is like braised beef soup from the usual place that I'd order all my Korean Deliveroo deliveries from. I think it's called Gogi. Such an amazing, oh, you'll see it in a second. I've requested a bowl <laughs> from the hotel's housekeeping team so I can eat this properly instead of out of this container and we have obviously a bit of pantan so we've got some gorgeous kimchi yum and of course the most important component of any Korean stew is the rice. Oh gosh. Got some lovely, lovely rice. Honestly, now that I have it in a proper bowl, it looks so much nicer. It looks like a real meal compared to when it's just inside the delivery packaging. Yum, a great meal. Now comes the fun part. I'm gonna turn on the show. I'm gonna enjoy my kahabi tongue. Oh, I can't wait to take a shower, have a hot cup of tea, slip into bed, and I need to prep my next video. Excited to talk to you about that. And then tomorrow we have so much to talk about. Today I went to Bond Street and I picked up my friend's leaving gift. So I got her an agenda from Louis Vuitton that she had her eye on. And also I got her a matching sun hat similar to mine from Celine, which she'll wear when we go to Estelle Manor together because I have Estelle Manor booked as her like going away trip. And I know it's weird, I just picked up a fork and knife, but it's just for the galbi tongue so I can get the meat off the bones. If I was in Korea, I'd do this with scissors, but sadly I am not. And then I picked up something from Celine as well while I was there. I picked up a blazer that I think you guys are gonna love. So I wanna show you that, but I'm gonna show it to you 
later because I want to show it properly styled. I really want to just enjoy my meal right now, watch a bit of a show, and get a chance to relax. And tomorrow is going to be so hectic and busy for us anyways. So I'll talk to you guys really soon. everybody welcome to London I've put on just a quick little outfit nothing too interesting and I need to go to the coffee shop to grab myself some breakfast and then while I grab myself some breakfast I'm gonna do what I usually do which is grab some cookies and some treats for the front desk staff so yeah let's get going I feel like we've already accomplished quite a good bit this morning. My makeup and my hair is sorted and it's before 9 a.m. which is amazing. We also went to get a morning coffee and at the cafe I grabbed a loaf of banana bread. I went to the same cafe I always go to which is Knockbox Cafe. I grabbed a loaf of banana bread there, left that with the front desk team and they were thrilled. There were a couple folks there that were big banana bread lovers which is fantastic and I'm working my way through this iced coffee that is starting to to melt more and more every minute. As we're kind of getting ready for today, I wanted to share with you what shopping I was doing yesterday. So basically, one of my closest friends and co-workers, we've been working together for a good four years, four and a half years now, has decided to leave the company. So she's been at the company for well over 20 years, which means that it is like a big deal that she's leaving so I'm personally giving her a bit of a royal send-off by treating her with a few little bits and obviously the wider team is going to be doing a leaving do and a few little party bits for her. One of the ways she loves to share her jealousy is by teasing me for some of my luxury purchases and the more she teases me about something the more I know she wants it. So a good example 
example of that is I have my Louis Vuitton agenda. You know it, I know it, we all love it. She always teases me about it and it's because she actually would love to have one, right? So yesterday I went to Louis Vuitton and I purchased one. And then today we're going to go pick something up at Louis Vuitton and have a little bit of a VIP treatment and she's gonna get to hot stamp her agenda and that'll be part of her leaving gift. And then we have a trip planned together to go to Estelle Manor in a few weeks time. I have this one sun hat that you guys know well. It's the one that I love from Celine. It's another purchase that she teases me for. So I went to Celine and they have the sun hat. So I went and I bought that as well. So we're gonna pop over to Celine really quickly following Louis Vuitton for the second bit of the surprise. And those will be like my two gifts to her as well as the trip to Estelle Manor. But while I was at Celine, I also got something for me, of course. So I would like to show that to you now. Okay, here it is big beautiful bag from Celine. Let's do a little ASMR moment. All right, let's unbox this big beautiful bag. I might just have to rip it. Uh, oh well. Oh lovely. We're able to, oh nice, okay. No wonder this is so big. They put the hanger and everything in there. Oh, so as you can see, I got a piece from Celine's Ready to Wear. This is from the latest collection and it's actually a piece from the men's Ready to Wear. I saw it and I loved it and I'm sure you're going to understand why we will be buying men's Ready to Wear. So here it is. This is a gorgeous pinstripe blazer and I've really been in the market for a blazer so I thought what a lovely thing to get for myself. So beautiful isn't it? So it is this beautiful navy blue white pinstripe it's double breasted which i love about it and it's got this really boxy kind of oversized fit let me put it on so you can see i think you're gonna be gagged you're gonna love it everything's all stitched up all stitched up all beautiful all right this is the blazer it's beautiful isn't it I love the length. I think it's cool. It'll look really cool with just like a white top and honestly some denim shorts. It'll look stunning. I like that I can kind of close it up and that it's not, you know, fitted or anything like that. It's still very nice and oversized and lovely. Obviously really easy to hike the sleeves up as well. I think it's stunning. I like the length around the back as well. Obviously everything is, you know, stitched closed up. I can't put my hands in my pockets yet, but I think it's such a cool blazer. I'd love to wear it today, but I didn't bring any clothes that would work to be able to wear it today. So I don't think it'll be today's outfit, but I think it's so lovely. You'll have to tell me what you think. I think it's super, super beautiful. I love little pieces like this. I tried on a couple different blazers while I was at Celine mostly from the women's collection, but there was just something about them I didn't like quite as much. I didn't really want like a slim fitted blazer. I just love the look of this. This to me is much more chic. It's much more Celine than if I were to get like a fitted blazer. I love the look of it. It feels very cool Parisian. I'd love to wear this in Paris with like a red lip and just like a real casual outfit underneath. Oh, that would be so nice. There are some other bits that we need to try on, sadly, not from Celine. I also ordered to my friend's house here in London some pieces from Kukai. How do you pronounce this? Kukai, Australia, I don't know. They're kind of trendy pieces right now. They're the ones that have the off-center button-up on the cardigans. So I got two types, I got this sleeveless version, a black long sleeve version. And we need to try them on. Um, I had my friend try it on for me and she said it was fitted. And these are actually a size smaller than what I would usually get. I'd usually get a size 12, UK Australian size is 40 French size. And this is a size 38 and an Australian UK size 10. So size down, I'm hoping it'll work because it's rather stretchy. The real question will be more, do the buttons have a gap around my chest? That is gonna be the problem more than I think the fit itself. Let's try them on. Okay, the bathroom has some good light. So I think this actually might be the best place for us to try this on. Guys, I'm gutted. I'm gutted, it doesn't work. Look at that, oh, horrendous. Look at that, oh. 
No, it doesn't fit, it's too small. Oh, I'm devastated. I'm so bummed. I was really looking forward to these tops. This is terrible. I don't even know if I can return this. I might see if any of the girls at the front desk would be interested in these tops. But look at this, this one does fit. It's not weird, they're the same size, same style. I mean, other than the sleeve length, but this one fits fine. It's a bit small, you know, I could go for some extra room, but the buttons are fine. There's not any poppage or it doesn't look, you know, really ill-fitting. This is lovely. Why does the other one not work? Ugh. Life is hard, everybody, life is hard. I need to see what the return policy is, but it might be that I just have to give it away. Bummer, it's such a beautiful color, isn't it? Really pretty. But I like this, I think it's cool. I wanted to get this because I really liked the funky kind of off-center, and I like this more than a diagonal. I just find this more interesting, and you can obviously button it up, cover up all the way. But I think this, just like a pair of slacks, will look really cute for today. I actually think that is going to be the look for today. So let's wrap this outfit up and actually get dressed. I'm so sad about this. Ugh. I've got my little outfit of the day on now. So I've got the cardigan on that I just tried on, the Kukai Cookie Australian one. Really, really cute. I put on some white slacks. These are from Aritzia. They're the effortless pant. I have this belt on from Hermes to kind of hold it all together. And then obviously for today's fragrance, we want to be smelling like the sweetest little vanilla cookie treat that we are. And I'm going to achieve that with Tehoda by Indult. Absolutely love this scent. I think I might put my Rolex on as well because I think it'll go with the outfit. Amazing. What do we think? 10 out of 10, 12 out of 10. Let me know in the comments below. everybody so i went to celine louis vuitton we had a lovely little unboxing she loved the gifts and the whole surprise of it and then obviously i ended up grabbing one more thing while i was at celine so in my defense she bought me this shirt right i didn't pay for it but how cute it's really nice isn't it so i'm thinking i might actually change my outfit and change out of this and put on this shirt and my jeans to wear it to lunch. I think it'll honestly be a lot more appropriate. It's a bit of a casual work lunch because it is a goodbye lunch. So I think it might work out better than what I'm currently wearing. So let's give it a try. Okay, I think this outfit is actually so cute. So I've got the shirt on. I'm just wearing my wide leg jeans and I'm doing the millennial front tuck. Forgive me, I'm old, okay? I think it looks chic and amazing. Gen Z disagrees, but that's fine with me. I've got my pinstripe blazer on and I feel chic, I feel cool. I'm gonna put my watch back on and maybe some jewelry and then I'll have the full look sorted, but I think I look really cool right now. I feel really cool. You guys can let me know if I look a mess. I'm gonna head to lunch. We're gonna enjoy such a lovely meal. We're gonna go to Borough Market, a restaurant within Borough Market. We're gonna be sat on the terrace and we're just gonna have a really, really lovely day. See you soon, bye. Okay, my camera is gonna die. I wanna show you this really, really quickly and then I'm gonna cut and then we'll talk again a bit later. But I showed you some of the shopping I did at Celine. I did some more shopping today, obviously. One of the places I went to was Hermes and my friend also got herself a bag at Hermes, which is in here. So this is not my bag, just to be really, really clear, but she figured you guys might wanna see 
what she got and I'm really appreciative that she'd be willing to share because I think it's such a cute little bag. So here it is. She got this adorable lime pouchette from Hermes. This is in Epsom leather. I have a lime mini Kelly. She's always loved the color. Copycast is so, so beautiful. I just think it's such a cute little bag. I love the pop of color on it. And the Epsom leather is gorgeous. That's about all I'm gonna say about this bag. I'm gonna put it back in the dust bag and give it back to her, but a big thank you to her for sharing this with us. And like I said, my camera's gonna die, I'm gonna charge it, and then we'll be back because I wanna talk to you about what I got at Hermes, though it's not as exciting as this. Welcome back everybody. London is over and we're back home now. We only have one day today in between this trip, this London trip, and tomorrow we're going to Portugal. So we have quite a lot of things to get done today. First thing I want to do is I've got my laptop here. I want to browse on Pinterest a little bit just to get some inspiration for outfits for Portugal. I looked at the weather and to be honest, the weather is a bit of a mixed bag. We have some pretty bad weather when we're landing and it actually says that it's meant to be cloudy the whole time I'm in Portugal with my mom, but I do think that will turn around. Definitely tomorrow and the day after that are not looking the best, so I want to do everything everything I can to just kind of get my packing prepped and make sure I have some colder weather options with me. So I'll probably have to pack some jacket. So here's a couple example of outfits that I found on Pinterest that I'm planning to pack for this Portugal trip. It's a lot of outfits that you saw me mention in my summer lookbook video. That video encapsulates a lot of the outfits that I'm going to be kind of making my summer capsule wardrobe into. So don't be surprised if you see me wearing those looks a ton. Another thing I really wanted to talk about while we have some time together today are some changes coming to the channel. No changes that I think you guys would find negative or anything like that. All really good changes. So there's two changes coming to the channel. The first one is I've launched memberships. I'm working on a couple little details around the memberships but basically there's going to be three tiers. The first tier is going to be more of like just a supporter type of tier. So it's 99 cents a month. Right now what I'm working on with a designer are the badges and the emojis. So the badges are going to be super super cute. They're going to be different Hermes bags and so basically when you start off as a supporter you're going to start off with an entry level bag. You'll be starting off with a Picotin and then from there you graduate to a Mini Kelly and then from there you graduate to a Birkin. So I thought that would be a really cute and fun way to make sure that everyone has access to an Hermes bag though it might just be virtual. And the emojis are going to be like little emoticons so just wait for those I'll be updating those very very soon I'm expecting to get the rough draft from the designer shortly and then you'll see them live the next year is for $2.99 and this is the sort of benefits that I think you're pretty used to seeing for YouTube memberships things like member shout outs behind the scenes community posts so those will be community posts that are a little bit more geared towards you know daily life things that are a little bit more spontaneous on filtered and in the moment and the final thing is something that I've kind of been doing but now I'm going to make it a little bit more formal which is I'll be doing a monthly video based on your suggestions I do already get a lot of content requests from you guys through comments DMs all these sorts of different places and so really the goal behind this is just to kind of formalize it and say okay once a month this is something I'm going to be doing and I'll just be looking at all the different things you guys are sending to me. I think I already do a pretty decent job of bringing to life your recommendations. This will just, like I said, make it a little bit more formal. And then the final tier, which is going to be called the inner circle, includes everything from before and then just a couple extra things. So there's going to be monthly live streams, there's going to be chat opportunities, and then also 
early access to videos, so you'd be getting to see the videos a day ahead of my usual posting schedule. And then come the end of the year, I'll be sending across annual holiday cards and hopefully a little goodie bag alongside with it. So those are the membership tiers, and really the goal behind that is just to support the growth of the channel, so all that kind of money that comes from memberships would go into gear really, lenses, microphones, all the kind of stuff that I use to actually produce my videos. And then the second change is I want to be doing more like list related content if that makes sense. So I tried before doing like a monthly favorites video and I found it just really hard to actually do that on a monthly basis because there's so many other things going on in terms of travel and other content that I'm prioritizing over that. That kind of got deprioritized for me. I'd love to be sharing more around like dupes that I find for really trendy designer pieces and if there's any sort of really good sales going on things like that I'd love to be able to share more of that type of content so I've started a sub stack as well and the goal for that one is going to be basically sharing a bit more of a background on YouTube videos so for example if I'm doing a travel video I'd love to make a bit of a written travel guide to go alongside the video that it explains more about places you should try out, restaurants, menu items, things like that that wouldn't really make it into the video itself but I think could be really helpful information for you guys. And the same like I said like a monthly edit but in a written format rather than turning it into a video. So those are the sorts of things that you'll see on my Substack. I've already got my first post on there and that was just to kind of put something together around the summer lookbook video but I'm planning to use it a lot more like I said especially for the travel stuff and doing like monthly edits if you are someone who enjoys a bit of written content um do check it out and let me know what you think When we were in London together, I was able to show you what my friend got when we went shopping at Hermes, but I didn't have a chance yet to show you what I got when we went shopping at Hermes. So I got some really cute little small leather goods. I got some wallets. So I got two of the same wallet. This is the Burn wallet. This is what it looks like from the inside. These are both in Epsom leather. This one is gold on gold, and then we have a two with gold. I think these wallets are so cute, super functional. Card holder options here, and then you have a nice little zip where you can put your coins. I think these are really, really cute. I was actually hoping to get the mini version of this wallet, which is just the card holder style, but they didn't have them. They had this size. So I got these and I figured I'll just hold on to them. Let me know what you guys think. I think they're super cute, super nice. Both of the colors are so functional, easy to pair with really anything. But with that being said, that was it. I just wanted to show you these wallets because I thought you guys would appreciate them. Next time we chat is going to be in Lisbon. I cannot wait. So I hope you guys have a really, really good rest of your day and I'll talk to you again super soon. Bye-bye.